<laughs> but yes, yeah. here are the new releases for the week of August 8, 2017. First up, we have Armello Deluxe Edition PS4 Digital. Uh, looks like Scar from Lion King. Yeah, the picture looks like it's like some cool art lion guy. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Art lion guy is the genre. Oh. No, uh, Batman, I, I, Batman the Telltale Series Season 2, Episode 1, semicolon, Enemy Within, semicolon for this one, Enigma. Uh, the story here are both Bruce Wayne and Batman will be forced to portray new roles. The Riddler has returned to terrorize Gotham City, but his gruesome puzzles merely foreshadow an even greater crisis. With the arrival of a ruthless federal agent and the return of a still nascent Joker, Batman must navigate uneasy alliances while Bruce Wayne undertakes a perilous series of deceptions. I really do love their Joker, uh, which just makes the whole situation... I really liked Harvey Dent in the first season, so we'll see what... Yeah happens with this unnamed federal agent that I have no idea who the fuck they're talking about. Oh, okay. It's Amanda Walker, I think. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, why would they just name drop her then? Oh, Amanda Waller. That, I was like, who the fuck's Walker? Yeah, the one from Suicide Squad. I'm pretty sure it is, because I, I watched the iGen video review. And that would make sense. That makes sense. Maybe that's a spoiler, but I don't know, iGen didn't think so. Next up, Black Hole Complete Edition, PS4 Digital. Uh, Comet Crash 2, The Croncoid Wars, PS4 Digital. <laughs> I don't like that word. Uh, let me tell you guys a little. My dad fought in the Croncoid Wars, actually, so. <laughs> no joke. Did not like that word at all. Uh, Graceful Explosion Machine, PS4 Digital. This game is dope. Uh, yeah, so awesome. skillfully pilot uh, the Graceful Explosion Machine, a fighter ship armed with a ludicrously overpowered quad weapon array. Lost in deep space, you'll shoot, dash, and combo your way through jewel hued alien worlds, fighting crystalline enemies to find a way home. So, uh, if you heard of this game, you probably heard it was a uh, Switch in title originally. Uh, I got to play it at uh, PAX. Yeah, I got to play it at PAX East uh, in the indie booth. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I still haven't bought it yet, but uh, it was a very fun game. If you like pixel junk games, uh, I recommend it. It was very it's, pixel um, junk. It's kind of almost like a well. side-scrolling, like uh, it's like a side-scrolling Geometry Wars kind of. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. Bullet hell ish. So it's really good. I didn't play it myself, but I watched my, my best friend play it a lot. Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice, PS4 Digital. From the makers of Heavenly Sword, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, and DMC: Devil May Cry, comes a warrior's brutal journey into myth and madness. Created in collaboration with neuroscience and people who experience psychosis. Oh, dude. I did not know this. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice will pull you deep into the melancholic fury of Senua's, Senua's shattered mind. Like the, like, the actual development studio yeah. at Neurosciences and shit? Yeah, to get, like, the, um... Here. Like, I, know, get the character I want this game to, to act to be the way, nice. like, a person would in real life. So good, dude. Interesting. I saw the gameplay when they... T two years ago when they rebuilt it. I was like... It got my attention. And then, uh, what was it? At E3, when they showed pretty much the whole uh, the demo. I was like, I'm in. It looks beautiful. The... So now, have you have you uh, played any of other yeah. any of Ninja Theory's other yeah. games? Yeah. But I like how you could see them definitely developing like their craft Ninja Theory through these three games. Like Heavenly Sword was meh. Enslaved is it not a like, character action game? I, th I thought it was. Yeah. I didn't. See I feel it like much, Enslaved is a completely different kind of game too. Enslaved has very similar, uh, nah, but there, there are all three of these having this order enslaved in DMC or like, character um, action games. There's some like, demo, uh, uh, gameplay, like 10 minutes of what they had released uh, last week. If you see it, like the actual gameplay of it, it seems, well, to me, it seemed more like, um, like, uh, Battleborn? No, what's it called? Um, Bloodborne type? You gotta dodge and. Between that, yeah. Oh yeah. Sounds it's like it's kind of like Bloodborne meets like For Honor. Yeah, it's probably more like For Honor than Bloodborne. Now is this a PS? This is a. Is this a PlayStation yeah. exclusive Gameplay -wise. or is this coming to uh, PC as well? And it's only thirty dollars. Interesting. Uh, I feel like it might be a plus game at one point, but I don't even know. I see. Next up, we have I see Icy PS4 Digital. Icy is a 2D side scrolling action plus meta game. As you follow the narrator's omnipresent voice, you will see you will see through Icy's eyes and learn the truth about her world. I don't know what a meta game is. I, it doesn't I mean, I know even what describe the game at all, is, other than that it's a side scrolling 2D game. I don't know. And there's meta in it. There's meta aspects. Yeah. Next up, 
big, big, uh, long awaited. Lawbreakers, PS4, digital. Bring your skill. We, we all know what the fuck Lawbreakers is. Uh, it's finally here. Finally on store shelves, but yeah. digital shelves. And limited uh, run shelves of the internet. Limited run shelves. <laughs> Go run around and find it? the shelves. Uh, yeah, do you want to yeah. see what a... I'm not good I'm, it, but, um, I hope it does I, I think I'm going to get it unless Tay really falls in love with Splatoon 2. In that case, I'm just going to wait on it, because I was going to play it with Tay. Um, but I like the yeah, game. I, I'm, I'm going to get it eventually. I don't know if I'm going to get it on Tuesday or if I'm going to wait till the end of the week. I could see it doing some, like, sadly, but like nah, some um, I don't think so. Battleborn shit. Where I could it's just go not, cheap and like no one plays it. Yeah, but it's not. It's, people are comparing it to similar. Overwatch, and it's not like Overwatch. It's similar. It's really not. It's a hero shooter, sort of, but not. It's well, no, no, well, no, neither, See, neither was Battleborn. No, okay, That's what I'm okay, saying. Wait, 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 No, yeah, the true. one game came out when the Overwatch beta. Uh, and then Battleborn they released, one. and then Overwatch's beta was that weekend. Okay. That's what happened. And, and then Overwatch was like two months later, so like a month later. Everybody in the internet was overhyping it. Yeah. But the difference, too, is that Battleborn wasn't really that good of a game. Like the MOBA elements of it, I thought. Game. It's fun. Felt like shit. But I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that. Maybe I just wasn't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I just meant in the, in the price drop. Yeah. Price. It's not yeah, launching fair enough. Whatever. But at least this Next game is launching at $30. Yep. Yeah, so it's not a 60 That's going to help it. Battleborn did yeah. launch at 60 Masquerada, Songs and Shadows, PS4 Digital. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, PS4 Digital Retail. Uh, so this one's got 7, 8, 9, and 10 uh, in the same manner as Mega Man Legacy Collection 1. So if you want... Aren't like no most quantity, of those yeah. the ones people didn't really care for though? No, nine and ten were great. Nine and ten were the were the were the two thousand like the. the oh, they were the ones that they were the ones that were newer ones made in the style of the older ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seven, eight, eight, eight was like a game that like, like you can't believe that runs on an NES because it's like, it's NES. I'm pretty sure eight's on NES. Yeah, because uh, like it, it, it's like its graphs are so good. It's graphics. Neon Drive, PS4 Digital. Neon Drive is a slick retro futuristic obstacle dodging game that will make your brain melt. You've been warned. Oh boy. I, I like the short descriptions because it's like, like, I feel like the uh, developers like write it and like, ooh. We're, we're, I, I both like, like them and think that, that they're kind of just like a little corny, you know? Yeah, they're very corny. Um, yeah. Whatever. Neptune Flux, PSVR Digital. Uh, Neptune Flux is a story-driven open-world adventure game set in a sci-fi ocean filled with mystery and haunting beauty. Discover supernatural wreck sites, ancient artifacts, and dark secrets. I feel like this is just the deep sea dive from PSVR Worlds, uh, but with some cool sci-fi shit. So I guess that's fine. Uh, and then rounding out the list, Cinemora X. Uh, Cinemora is what? Yeah, yeah. Cinemora is a remake of like a PS3, Xbox 360 game. Uh, I remember Damon Hatfield of IGN really liking it. I do remember him um, talking about it a lot. We it's got uh, it for, it's uh, bullet heavy. It's like side right scroll. It's a side scroll. Yeah, it's a side scrolling shoot 'em up. Yeah, a while ago. Yeah. Okay. A while. Yeah, during the PS4 though, so like it was irrelevant. Um, but yeah, someone is publishing this game, and I think it's very. It's like it's. It makes no sense, but I forgot who. I think. Uh, I don't know. I'll forget out. But uh, how, what about the pick of the weeks? What do you guys say on that? 